Hey everyone, Kaylee here with our last video of February, and today we're going to learn how to do a French twist on short hair. I'm also doing this French twist inspired half updo just in case a French twist isn't quite your thing. This is actually a lot easier than you'd expect it to be and totally doable, so let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you're going to bump the top. You can tease if you need to. With her, I didn't really need to. I just kind of gathered the hair from the crown together, and then I twisted it in the direction that I wanted the French twist to go. Once I got that twist in place, I went ahead and pushed up until I had the desired amount of volume, and then you just pin in place to hold it there. Next, we're going to work with the side that the twist isn't on. So you take all the hair that you don't want the twist on and pull it right to the middle of the head, and you're going to bobby pin it right there. That way we get that out of the way really nicely and easily, and this little line of bobby pins is great to pin into so that you can crisscross your pins and make a really secure style. Now with the hair from the left, we're going to create the twist. So basically all you do is take it and arrange it in kind of this curved fashion, just like you would see in a French twist. You want to make sure that this top one covers up any bobby pins that you have. That's the only really important thing there. And then you just pin it in place. And then you continue doing that, taking like one to two inch sections, curving them around the hair that you have right there, and pinning it in place. And continue to do that until you have all the hair from above your ear wrapped around in that twist-like fashion. Then for the remaining hair, you can see we have the hair left over from the bump and from the hair that we've twisted in. You want to separate that out and leave the hair from the nape for the last section. With the hair that we have left over from the hair that we've already wrapped, you want to go ahead and twist it and create a tiny little bun if you have enough hair and then just pin that against the head. That way we get it nicely out of the way and it won't be poking out from the bottom of the French twist. Then take the remaining hair from the nape and arrange it over the little bun, form it into place, and pin it where you need it. Then if you have any little hairs that are sticking out, just use a bobby pin to go ahead and pin it right up and into the twist so that you can't see it. Then you can arrange it if you need to and pull some pieces apart so that you don't see any gaps between each of the sections that we took back. And then if you have side bangs, what I did with hers was to sweep them back with one hand and then use the hairspray to kind of spray and hold it back in place. So they're kind of swept back but they don't have to be pinned, that way they're just staying out of your face and flowing nicely with the rest of the style. And that is it for your French twist. Like I said, it's really not all that hard. It's going to take a couple minutes, but it's not impossible with short hair. Now onto our much quicker French twist inspired half updo. This is much faster. You're just going to bump the crown as we did before by gathering the hair together and giving it a little twist, pushing it up, and then pinning it into place. Then take a section of hair from the twisting side and wrap it around the hair that we have from the bump. Then pin it in place just underneath the hair that we have from the bump so that the pin is nicely hidden. And then just arrange the hair that's remaining into the shape that you like it. Then if you have side bangs, what you can do is go ahead and arrange those back. And if you want to, you can pin them in place and kind of hide that pin right underneath the section that we've already pulled back. That's up to you. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But that's it for our little Fridge Twist Inspired half updo. Like I said, it's a little bit quicker and it's still very pretty. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys have enjoyed Febu Harry. I will miss seeing you guys every single day, but definitely make sure to check back for my next video, and I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye.